hello! I did not see you there. How are you today? I am your host for today. I am Braggy, and yes, I am a Viking and the son of Magnar. Now, today, it is another folktale day. I just come back from having a walk out, doing some battle practice with my good old axe and my good old gamberson. And on the way back down one of the lanes, I walked past a field, and this field was full of turnips. And then, well, this reminded me of an old folk tale. As a child, I was told by my father. Well, my father, Magnar, well, he was very well travelled. He went to Viking all over. And one time he went to the land of the Russians, the Rus Vikings. And this is where this folk tale comes from. And yes, it is called the Turnip. Now, many years ago, in the land of our ancestors, there lived an old farmer. An old Russian farmer. He was long in a beard. And he was a grandfather. And, well, he was a turnip farmer. He loved turnips. He spent most of his life, after he's finished going a Viking and got too old, growing turnips. And, well, last summer he planted some turmit, turnips in the late end of the season for this year. But something very strange happened. For all the turnips grew... But there was one particular turnip in the middle of the field, which just would not stop growing. It grew and it grew and it grew, and it was said to be the size of a man. And all around the rest of the turnips, well, when they was ready to eat, they was harvested. The whole family would come out and spend all day putting turnips, and put them into buckets, and then putting the buckets into the back of a cart. Um, they would end up being stored in some outbuilding. And then it came to the last turnip. And this was a very big field, folks. And this was a very big turnip. And the grandfather, well, let me just get rid of my gamberson, as I need both hands for this. He grabbed the top of the turnip. He was a big man himself. And he tried to pull the turnip from the top. Oh, <laughs> it would not move did not move at all and he walked back to the longhouse's farmstead and he went to the door well, he didn't knock it was his own house his, his wife was there the grandmother he said grandmother you must come down to the field for there's one turnip left and i cannot put it out so she hobbled along i'm coming dear she was a very old lady and uh, well they got to the field and the grandfather got hold of the turnip and then the frail old grandmother walked over and then very, very quickly started to get her hands round the grandfather and both of them tried to pull this turnip out of the ground and they pulled! <laughs> it did not move at all and so the grandfather being a wise old man with a beard he said to the grandmother, you must wait here, and I will go and find our granddaughter, for she is big and strong. They built women strong in those days. And so the old grandfather went back to the longhouse. He looked round. Ah, oh, there you are, granddaughter. You must come with me. I need your help to pull out this ginormous parsnip. And the daughter, well, the granddaughter, she said, yes. Oh, I'll come and help you, grandfather. And they both went, and there was a grandmother leaning, sitting on the turnip, partly. And then, naturally, it was time to have another pull at this big, big turnip. The grandfather got his arms around it. Then the grandmother hobbled over. I'm coming to put my arms around you, dear. Put the arms around the grandfather. And then the granddaughter put her arms around the grandmother and all three of them tried to pull up this big turnip huh. but 
no matter how hard they poured, they could not do it. And so there was nobody else left at the longhouse. They was all out working in the woods and the fields far away. And the grandfather thought, well, the only thing we got left in the farmhouse is a puppy. So he walked back, he said to the granddaughter and grandmother, you two will stay there, I'll be back in a minute. So he went to the longhouse, he saw the dog and he said to the dog, you must come with me, dog, I need your hand to pull out this big and ginormous, ginormous turnip. And the dog went, woof, woof, and agreed. And they both walked over to the, where the turnip was and the grandmother and the granddaughter. And again, the grandfather got his arms around the turnip. And then the old frail grandmother, I come here to put my arms around you, dear. Put the arms around the grandfather. And then the granddaughter put the arms around the, the old grandmother. And then the dog he stood on two legs and put his upper paws around the leg. And again, and again, all four of them tried to pull. But how? They could not lift it. They could not move the turnip. It was getting close to coming out. There was a little, little tiny movement. Well, the grandfather, he realised that four people, well, three people and a puppy was not enough. And so he went back to the longhouse thinking for a minute. But what do you think he saw when he was walking back to the longhouse? He thought he saw something very strange. He saw four beetles walking in a row. And the grandfather, being used to the animals, said, Hello, beetles. I need you to come and give me a hand to put out this turnip. And all the beetles made little squeaky beetle noises and said, Yeah, we'll come and give you a hand. We're groovy beetles. Um, so the grandfather and four beetles, little, little creatures, insects, all went to where the grandmother and the granddaughter and the puppy and the ginormous turnip were waiting. And so, first of all, the grandfather, again, he got his arms around the turnip. And then the frail old grandmother stood up. I'm coming, dear, put my arms around you. We're going to get this turnip this time. I'll bank on it. And she put her arms around the old grandfather. And then the big, strong granddaughter put her arms around the grandmother. And then the little puppy stood up and put two paws around the leg. Not sure which leg, maybe the left leg, maybe the right leg. That might be wrong on camera. So the, 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 the doggy, the little puppy, woof! It a, oh, it's a whooshing dog. Whooshki! Whooshki! Yes, we'll remember that from Eggle. Put his little paws around the leg, and then the four beetles all stood in the row, and they all put their little arms around the puppy. And together they all pulled! And suddenly, pop, the turnip came out of the ground. The end of the tale.